Here comes the governorship and state assembly elections, a day everyone has been waiting for in Kano State to choose who takes the mantle of leadership from May 29, 2023. At the polling unit of the candidate of the APC, Nasser Gaona, the electorate will come as they take turn to do accreditation and vote simultaneously. Gaona showed up amid the mammoth crowd to perform his civic responsibility. Speaking shortly after the exercise, he says, power comes from God, stressing that he is impressed with the exercise. As peaceful as it is, and I hope, inshallah, as it is now, it will continue to be free and fair. Also casting his vote is the candidate of the NNPP, Abba Yusuf, who arrived at his polling unit amidst cheering from his supporters. Mammoth crowd at the Chiranchi polling unit, 33 where the NNPP candidate Abba Yusuf cast his vote. And as you can see behind me, the crowd is overwhelming. Speaking after casting his vote, he says if the process is free, fair and credible, he will win. So long as uh, the INEC uh, you know, conducts a uh, free, fair and credible election, we don't have problem. What we are saying is that they should allow the system to go according to the Electoral Act. Both candidates believe that they are loved by the people and if the process is free, they will win. While the polling units in Gwale local government area, Nasarawa local government area, among others recorded massive turnout of voters, those at the Fege local government area, particularly the Adubairo Square, had limited number of voters who came out to perform their responsibility. Joseph Kadri, ITV News.